All right, we're going to solve this system of equations using the elimination method. The key here is to figure out which variable to eliminate. So I'm going to choose to eliminate the y because you can already see that the signs are the opposite. One's a negative, one's a positive. And so I'm going to multiply the top equation by 2. And I'll put that new equation over here. 14x minus 14y equals negative 56. And I'll multiply the second equation by 7. Remember, you're multiplying everything by 7. So I get that as the answer. And the reason I did that, of course, choosing 2 and 7, is because I want to make these two terms the opposites of each other. Because then when I add them straight down, you'll see that the y's go away. I get 35x equals negative 70, which is nice, because that's a nice number. When I divide by 35, I'm going to get negative 2. And now I plug negative 2 back in for x, because that's what x equals, into this bottom equation. You could have chosen the bottom or the top equation, doesn't matter. So negative, or 3 times negative 2 plus 2y equals negative 2. Solve this equation now for y. Add 6 to both sides, you get 4. Divide by 2 and you get 2. So here's my, here are my answers, and to check to make sure I did it right, I'm going to plug negative 2 in for x on the top equation, the one I didn't use yet, and positive 2 in for y, and make sure that those work. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14, plus negative 14 does equal negative 28, so I know that's the right answer. So my correct answer is negative 2, comma, 2.